G'day guys, bit of mail time on the cruiser. Um, interrupt the build. Just finished mowing the lawns, sitting down, having a cup of tea, a cup of coffee. Um, and got my mail the other day. It's always interesting when the postie comes walking down the driveway, just swinging the bag and pretty sure it's my whole instrument kit. Um, either that or it's something swanky for the missus and I might get a bit embarrassed. So we'll see what happens. Um, Hopefully, this is my MGL package that I've organised. Um, thanks to the guys at uh, Asia Pacific, um, or Fly, Fly Lightning Asia Pacific in Australia. Um, rang those guys up, relatively simple. Hey, I want a simple VFR setup, no making around, no, no bells and whistles, um, with the harnesses and radio if I needed it. Uh, with the radio, yeah, I just meant whether I have a separate radio head or whether it's on the screen, that sort of thing. So we'll take a look and see what's in here. First thing, it's relatively light, which is good. This is basically my my entire dashboard. Big white box, small white box, smaller white, smaller white box. No, that's okay. Um, got a simple little harness there. It's like a computer computer plug, and I think they're the end terminals, SP6 or AHAS. Another couple of cables with the computer lugs. This one says IFS CAN and. All the leads are nicely, um, very nicely labelled actually. High EFS power. So the harness, invoice, and we've got a pen. It's my first sponsor. Got a biro. Thanks very much, Asia, Asia Pacific. That'll um, help hold the tailplane on the aircraft. Might sell it and pay some of the bills. Speaking of bills, um, so on here still to come, the Ardak harness and the V6 harness. So it looks like they're going to build two more harnesses for me, which is great. And another box. So what's in the boxes? MGL Avionics V16 transceiver. Uh, plugs, connections. Little uh, coax cable type connectors, and this is a V16 transceiver VHF airband V16. So that's the size of the radio. And I believe I changed frequencies in that on the screen, which will be here. So one V16 transceiver. MGL SP6 magnometer, mag magnetometer, magnet, magnetometer, the compass. Oh, very light. SP6 compass. Basically feels like you've been jibbed and there's nothing in there. Um, yeah, nice light little unit with the hard little bits of hardware and pages of manuals. So the compass, compass and a radio, MGL Avionics RDAC. And with the RDAC, this is where all your cables terminate to. This is what I basically liked about the MGL, I guess. This will go on the firewall. Things like EGT, CHTs, uh, just terminate the wire or strip the wire straight in there and screw it on. Um, so we've got fuel, I can see the oil pressure, ground, uh, OX1, OX2, looks like flaps, RPM, and then a bunch obviously that you can customise yourself. And there's a bunch of um, like reversing switches, a bit like a power box on an aircraft, on a model, on an RC model aircraft. Um, I have to read up on this and get my glasses. Bunch of switches, and it looks like you can. Um, 
reverse whatever you need to reverse. That's the R deck. Now for the big boy. It says Challenger on the outside. MGL Avionics IEFUS Challenger Light. A couple of little tiny bits just floating around on top of the box. Some sort of uh, sensor, it looks like. Bunch of plugs. Hopefully, um, instead of this make your own plug, hopefully that's on the harness. So there we go. But the invoice actually says, still to come, yeah, Ardak harness and a V6 harness. And the IEFUS 10.5 inch uh, MGL Avionics Challenger Light says on the back here. Serial number. So very good. Um, feels very light. Buttons across the bottom. It's got any dials? Yeah, dials up the side. And I have no idea. I don't even know how to turn this thing on. Um, but I'm sure we can work it out. So that's my screen. And it should fit, hopefully. I've got the panel right next to me over here. It's on the panel. It looks like, if I measured it correctly, it should fit on my panel, in my panel. So, that's very good, nice looking unit. I haven't had much to do with these things. Um, I think Garmin and the other mob are leading the way. Um, uh, the name escapes me at the moment, come to me in a minute. Um, Dynon, Dynon, Garmin and Dynon, and then you've got MGL. So, yeah, a lot of reading to do. That's just packed in foam. Oh, and there's a memory card supplied in there, a mini and a big one. One thing I have noticed already, it's just got tiny little pedo and static ports, like just this tiny little tube. Um, onto the back there, they're very, very small. That's just, uh, I guess we mowed the lawns and didn't put the stuff away properly. Um, so I couldn't wait to get out here and unwrap my avionics package. So there you go. Just thought I'd unpack that in front with everyone. Um, MGL avionics, can't wait to get this thing fired up, get some power to it. But that'll come with time. Um, no idea. Plenty of reading to do. But thanks very much to John and Paul at, um, what's their address? Anyway. Asia Pacific. So John and Paul at Asia Pacific uh, Light Flying Propri Proprietary Limited, uh, The Rock, New South Wales. Oh, the rock, so that's up near Wagga, just to hang out there. Um, one thing I noticed when I ordered all this, uh, it was almost a bit too simple really. Rang up the guys, uh, I'm not sure, it might be a bit of a backyard business, which is fine. Um, they seemed a bit preoccupied with like, driving. Um, and probably oncoming traffic or something like that. But anyway, rang up the guys, explained my situation. VFR aircraft, want to keep it simple, want to keep it light and a bit of a numpty like myself that's going to wire it up um, and they've hooked me up with this um, or I did a bit of research and my quotes obviously you can get a smaller size screen 8.4 or 8.5 inch as opposed to 10.4 or 5 um, a bit of research on that but it does get a bit confusing with what's going on um, they also helped me I was going to order a separate radio um, but they've told me that to keep it simple, you can just do it on the screen here, apparently. So this screen, I believe, will be split screen uh, engine instruments, um, engine and flight instruments, and navigation. But I've also got the iPad as well. So that is the MGL avionics package. Um, 
we'll get that installed in the next video.